Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a stand for your flags. So last week I showed you how to make a flag and Ashton has done a very good job at making all these flags. Now the problem is, is that they're all loose and they've got nowhere to go. They're just all hanging about. It's only if Ashton holds them that they're all together. So I'm going to show you today how to make a holder. What you need is a box that you don't need anymore, some sticky tape, and a pair of scissors. So with the sticky tape, you need to make sure that the box is closed. There we go, the box is now closed. This is the fun part. I'm gonna take the scissors and we're gonna stab some holes. Not any holes, we need to count how many we need. Let's count how many flags Ashton's made. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good, he has six. made six flags. The so, other one, like seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, you've got one more to make, and so you're going to have seven all together. Uh -huh. So let's make seven holes. Uh -huh. I'm going to make sure that these holes are going to be quite um, a little, not too close together, because if they're too close together, the flags will be too close together. We still want them to stand in uh, far apart enough from each other. One. Two, three. three, see how I'm holding it? I've got a good grip on it so that I can press down without hurting my hand. Four, four five, five six, six, and seven. Seven for each state and territory of Australia. I don't have any more paper. No, watching. Oh, look at that. It's okay if the flags overlap, we just want to make sure that our flags can stand. There, and there you have it. But there's have, one more. You need to make one more. So if you make, once Ashton makes his last one, he's got a hole to I put his flag. I paper. I can get you Yay! Okay, great. And that's how you make a flag stand. Enjoy!